This is the, the power hour. Oh. This is the power right here, and this is for the antenna through this e port of a 2013 Coleman Sun Dome six person tent. I'm gonna go show you the back of the modification. Okay. Here's one of the ventilations. Right up there is one of the, the Lakewood squirrel cage units. <laughs> that I showed in a previous video. It was like manufactured in like 2003. This kind of fan is pretty much rare and hard to find. Especially even the electronic model. And of course, a Holmes model. So if we were to open this up, you're gonna feel some air. You're gonna... What's in... Here is like what you see is um the wires going in where there's the cable and the power will get to where the cable goes later. A Harbor 3 E3 kilowatt meter. The pump stuff for the entertainment. A vintage looking frigidaire refrigerator thermoelectric only there is no compressor of course with not a vintage frigidaire logo that's actually the 2000 to 2009 logo and as I said if it was vintage you know, it would just have the F with the crown on the top not the cursive 2000 to 2009 one it is also small, and it can hold 15 cans. It's just a can fridge. That could work underneath the cot, and here another one. I would add storage, and you can see a can. Yeah, I know. The Lakewood fan, or the ventilation that goes outside, and a thermostat. Which is basically pretty nice. I found this at a garage sale that cost at least eight dollars. They didn't were gonna use they were not gonna use it anymore. I lubricated this, even though it was running good. I just wanted to lubricate it anyways to make it go a little better. Still works just fine. Also, have my Gold Star Space Heater. As it is branded as a Gold Star. This was before they changed it to LG. The cot. And here is where. The parts happen. There's the extender for the fridge, fan, and even going to be the light and phone charger. And one of them is this big block right here is the television. This power core right here is the DVD player, and this one is for the converter box. The cable wire is going up to this 
Channel Master CM7004 or 7004, which I saw in a chan in a solid signal video. I thought it was a little better. There are pros with this DVR. It actually has a better gun data. It actually has a pretty much of a like a great guide if the box were to able to respond. The box, I think, malfunctioned. Come on. It has a pretty good guide right here. Have to... However, there is a con. By pressing the guide, the guide mute its, mutes itself. And of course, you don't get a window. There's no audio in the background. Like, it's blocking the video, but not the audio. Which I noticed with the eye guide from Motorola boxes, possibly through Comcast and Charter. And of course, the guide is a good guide, but no Channel Master logo right here, which could have been a nice thing for branding. The only thing that will play audio in the background is the menus. The guide will not play any audio, which is absolutely a shame. And like, what I know is like, they could have improved this guide. Like, when you are on the guy, they should play the audio for you. Like, play the audio in the background. With or without the video as an option. And, of course, introduce an information bar and you would press it. For more information, as well as adding the Channel Master logo, because this is a Channel Master box. With the CM logo. Not the one with the satellite dish. So yeah, this thing has mixed reviews, but at least it has a better guide. This is a guide that I prefer. This is the guide that should have been in all converter boxes. Except it's basically on a converter box. Different converter box EVRs. This is basically reverse, where the channels are only right here, and the time is right here. That doesn't make any sense. The channels are supposed to be here, and the time is supposed to be here. And... Well, this box with this guide, even though it mutes and you don't get any info, even in the guide, is a con, but however, it's still a great box. And you don't have to use internet. And it also is a digital video recorder. But the downside, it's 120, 128 gigabytes. That's the maximum you can put on. Which I'm actually using a stick right here. Just a small stick to prevent like it from getting broken. And it can only record up to 16 hours of programming. 30 programs... Like, I think 30 hours for, basically, television and standard def, and 16 hours of high def programming, which many people who are in homes using this think that's says that's pathetic. But on a camping trip, like, if you're in a tent, that's fine with me, because I wouldn't be using this a lot. Next to here, we have a DVD player, an insignia, of course. It's basically a cyber home, but with four buttons. This is actually the A model, and people on Video Hope said that you can't change the regional encode on here. And you have to use the original remote. If you do not use the original remote on here... Huh?
I feel like something's wrong with the remote. I feel like the I feel like my electronics right here are basically starting to uh, malfunction, like almost to the verge of malfunctioning. Where they're basically not responding nicely. So even the fact is that I'm not gonna go in sleeping bags anymore. But I would have built these Wi-Fi antenna. Of course, this is made out of connects, and there's no wires, and I don't have a sheet to metal sheet to put on. But this is to aim at Wi-Fi. I would only watch standard definition videos, but if it's high quality standard definition, like 480p. Fun fact: P means progressive scan. Then I'm ha then I'm fine with it. So, take care, guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like to do glamping in an odd way. Thank you.